Bill Barnwell from ESPN. This is from ESPN Live, uh, NFL Live. Uh, his concerns with Deshaun Watson and the Browns offense. What's really difficult about this is that the Browns offense was pretty good under Joe Flacco last right. year. And not just because of Joe Flacco, but with two backup tackles, no Nick Chubb, mm -hmm. Deshaun Watson didn't have as well. And without Amari Cooper for a stretch against teams like the Jets, they were incredible down the stretch. And that's my concern is this offense is really a play action heavy. They want to boot. They want to get, you know, want to get their quarterback on the edge. And Joe Flacco was much better at that than Deshaun Watson mm. was last season. So I wonder, you know, we talked about maybe the schematic bit when Deshaun Watson got there. It feels like they still haven't really resolved that. And when left to their own devices, it felt like they got better with a guy in Joe Flacco who was on his couch for most of the year last yeah. year. Don, let's welcome in Jeff Lloyd from the Lockdown Browns podcast. Uh, Jeff, a couple of things. Offense is going to be different. And everybody's making this, this uh, about how great Joe Flacco was. You saw the numbers there. They were similar. Um, you know, they had twice as many touchdown passes, twice as many interceptions. Same kind of deal. I, he was. Did he look good? Yeah, but there's nothing to say that Deshaun Watson wouldn't have been every bit as good if he would have stayed healthy. He didn't play the Baltimore Ravens. He didn't play the Pittsburgh Steelers. He didn't play the Cincinnati Bengals. And look, Dave, we, how many episodes did we do last year? And how many times did we sit down and we talk? And we said, look, it's about navigating the waters, trying to get yourself north of 500, because December should be a really, really nice run for the Browns. And honestly, it probably would have been a really, really nice run, whatever quarterback was playing. It could have been DTR, maybe not PJ Walker, but certainly Deshaun Watson. And you guys have heard me say it a million times. I don't think the 2023 fate of the Cleveland Browns would have been much different if it had been Deshaun Watson. I still believe there's possibility the record could have been maybe even a little bit better, if not exactly identical. Um, it's 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 nice to say, but then the other thing is is you know Joe Flacco came in you know what week eleven, week twelve to the NFL season. Everybody oh, was sitting on his couch. Well, it, it's not like the guy had been sitting on his couch for a decade. You know, and he just came in, you know, he was good. He was fresh. He was ready to go. He's a six foot five guy with a rocket arm. Always has been, you know, it, it, the content this year. Look, it, it's it's tough, obviously, because you don't really have much to go on. And, you know, you have to go back and find things. You know, it's not, you know, it's not any news that Bill Barnwell said that, you know, anybody we didn't talk about last year, certainly. <clears throat> but you say if one of those games were against the Ravens or one of those games were against the Steelers or one of those teams were against, you know, other teams that actually went to the playoffs, you know, and even still Houston, they didn't really face the Houston Texans that they faced in the playoffs in the regular season. So you factor all that stuff in and, you know, it's, you know, there's certainly a lot of debate where you could come back and, you know, basically, you know, find a way to maybe have a judge sway in your favor that it's maybe kind of tilting the scale a little bit. It's, you know, it's, you know, I think we're well, well beyond that at this point. Yeah. And again, Joe Flacco was a great story, but I, I, if I'm a betting man, I don't think he can do it again. <laughs> That's and and I guess sure. the Browns are saying the same thing because they moved on from him.